still can't believe Colonel Cord got Norik to cave on these mines. Guess Norik finally realized how many people would die without them. He always struck me as an ends justifies the means kind of Sith. But maybe there's an old softy hiding under that creepy armor. Moving out. Take those controls. They'll let you pilot a submersible droid that can drop the mines. Moving out. This is a good start. Keep at it, Lieutenant. Lieutenant Dar has patched up our long-range communications. The hollow calls aren't what I would call reliable yet, but we were able to briefly reach the executioner. Unfortunately, we haven't made much headway in repairing our scanning equipment. We may have to rely on the executioner if we're going to locate the Republic's weapons. How did things go on your end? Major Anry and I cleared out the second wave of Selkath. With those mines activated, they won't get close to this platform again. That brings us one step closer to resuming Kolto shipments to those who need them. Darth Norok made a brief appearance on the way to his next objective. I updated him on our progress and your success with the platform's defenses. He was quite pleased. Can't you call him back? Sooner or later we'll need to hammer out a plan with Darth Norok for after the Republic's gone. 
Darth Norok's priority is getting the Kolto mining operation in working order again. He won't be pleased if I interrupt his work. After everything we've done, the least you could do is get Darth Norok on a hollow call. Fine. I can do that much. It's the Executioner, sir. They managed to make contact again. Put them through. They could have an update on the location of the Republic's guns. Colonel, thank the stars we reached you. We just received a distress signal from our shipping docks on the surface. It's faint, but we heard enough. The Republic has overrun their position. The entire platform is in lockdown, and if we don't... Blast! There's enough Koltos sitting on those docks to turn the tide for the Empire. We can't let the Republic get their hands on it. I need you both to stop them. Darth Norok? It must be done. We must take control. We will, my lord. We won't let any pubs off that platform with our Colto. Should I try to get him back? Don't think that's necessary, sir.
Bondra wasn't kidding when she said the pubs had these transports locked down. They're grounded until we cut them loose. Them. Time to get these things in the air. If we can just find somewhere to put coordinates in.
Those Colto transports don't have pilots. Use this to send them somewhere. They'll get to the destination on their own. Getting this Colto out of Cord and Norox's hands is the only way I trust it will be put to good use. My people will handle it from here. As long as you get it to the Empire, Colonel Cord won't have any complaints. Can't imagine Darth Norok would be too happy about it, though. seeing this. Contact cord. We need an extraction. Way ahead of you. Here's hoping I can get through. So I got a little surprise down here at the shipping docks. The Republic's gun showed up. What about the console? Where is it? Gone. Those guns took down a few of the transports, but the rest are headed off-world. Which is great for you, all, sir. Unfortunately for us, the Republic's just dropped a lot of fresh troops on our doorstep. We're trapped in here. I cannot send anyone to get you out, Major. Not while those guns are still active. Darth Norak would not approve of me sending anyone else into this situation. You don't need me. I know that both of you will figure. Think we can make it to that? Cord's right. We'll figure this out. And the Republic's guns are toast.
Darth Norak. What in blazes are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Is that...? You've got to be kidding me. Don't just stand there. Release me, at once! Have some patience, my lord, or I'm throwing you off this shuttle. Do not toy with me, fool. The longer you keep me like this, the worse the consequences will be. No need for that, my lord. Don't try anything funny, Norak, unless you want to test how long this scrap will keep you afloat. Take me to Cord. I will wring the air from that useless invertebrate's carcass for this. What does he have to do with this? If he had done what I asked in the first place, there would be no need for my presence. What do you mean? Colonel Cord's done his best to keep this operation running for you. I repeatedly told Cord his little Colto mining stations weren't good enough. The Empire does not toil and struggle for a mere trickling of resources. We take what we want. Cord had one objective. The complete subjugation of Manan. He refused to comply with my instructions. So I relieved him of his command. The Republic arrived at Manan as I began my descent to the surface. I had no time to act. In one swift moment, their forces destroyed our weapons, shot me down, and set upon me. All the orders Court said you gave, they were his own. That is agitating. I will deal with Cord. You can be sure of that. Hate to break up this very productive discussion, but I can't land this thing without drawing attention. Too many pubs out there. But it's now or never. We won't get a better shot at taking out these guns. If these animals are all that stand between me and an unyielding grip on Manan, I will eradicate every last one. Here we go.